the Lightning, the RAF's first supersonic interceptor. The turn of English Electric Lightning, an all-weather day and night fighter in service with the RAF. The Lightning is the latest fighter to enter squadron service with Fighter Command. A feature of its Farnborough performance was a flypast of machines of 74 Squadron led by Squadron Leader Howe. This is the first squadron to be equipped with Lightnings. Fully supersonic, the plane carries fire speed among its armaments. It's been designed from the outset as a weapon system. the two-seat Lightning powered by two Rolls-Royce turbojets with reheat. <laughs> Capable of supersonic speeds, the Lightning demonstrates its high-G, low-radius turns. Another jet trainer is the two-seater version of the English Electric Lightning. This machine first flew in the spring of 1959, and it has the same performance as the fighter version. In other words, it's fully supersonic. The single-seat fighter furthest from the camera has been ordered in quantity for the Royal Air Force. Together, let's just remind ourselves, first of all, of the awesome power of the 1950s English Electric Lightning. Heading skywards like a homesick angel, initial rate of climb 50,000 feet per minute. And when it gets up there, belting along at twice the speed of sound. Fantastic. 